do a video on transitions for detailing. Um, here's a little exhaust system I just got done detailing and it worked out pretty well. Almost all the offsets I could keep in in, uh, in, in, in parts and MEP parts. It didn't have to explode anything or draw anything and sometimes you have to and I'll show you how to do that. And, um, but they all worked out pretty well. I'll, I'll, we're going to redo this one right here. So see I've detailed this out to where it's pretty good. I've got very few joints in it. Um, had to make a custom piece here for, the, for those two taps. But everything's pretty efficient. So I ended up I needed a 50 inch long. It's a pretty radical transition. Um, so here's how you do it. Come in here and you want to start your your run. Come in here and we'll change this. We know we want to go to 40. We know we want to be flat on top because we've already checked that out. So we'll go top, vertical, center, top. So we want, we could check, we could do bottom or we could do center, or we could do top. So we want to go top. Then we'll come over here and we'll go 40. And I always go 30 degrees. It gives you a good 7 to 1 ratio um, to start with. It's probably not going to be what you want it, but, and it's going to ask you again once you put the 24 in here. And I'll go to 30. And then I'll just go ahead and draw it. See where I come out at. So now it's going to ask you, say, you want to put that little piece of duck in here. And I don't want to. I mean, that's going to cost your field people and your $100 for two connections. So what you want to do is you come here, you can see it's center lined both ways. Um, one that's auto routed and it's really one only one you can use when auto routed you, you could set other ones up to do auto route but it ask you a bunch of questions and it's just it's it's too it's too difficult so what i do is i'll come in here and i will do a duct fitting modify and we can go through some of these parts but if you could see um you have some some you can you can play with this one fitting a little bit you can make it go you can offset it to the side like that but you can't it's got no option for length so we'll bring it back to there and you can play with these here but you see down here there's no way to, to, to manipulate the length on it so you got to pick another part and why they just don't have one transition in here I don't know but uh, East Coast CAD um, is working on one and uh, it would be nice when you get done with that um, Let's see here. This is the one I normally use all the time, but I'll, I'll go through these other ones here real quick. Um, this one here is flat on one side, and you've got a length to it. You can hit that's your tap length, which is your little uh, break lines there. Um, and you can, but you, you've got no way to to uh, adjust it up and down flat on top or, or whatnot so you're, you're restricted there um, this one here is here we got a length again but we can't do anything else with it it's going to be center line both ways and there's the one we ended up we started out with and that one is just so generic that it's just it's got nothing it's just center line both ways um, this one here is center line both ways and Again, that's it. Oh no, you got an angle. You can you can adjust the length, but you can't adjust it flat on top or not. This one here seems to be the most one, the one you can use and manipulate the most. Um, it gives you an angle. You'll have to adjust the length with the angle, and it gives you an option to offset it on the side or the top and bottom. So in other words, now we what I would do first is I would come in here and I would adjust the length. So we know we'd started at 30. It's probably not 30 anymore. Click apply, so that gives us. So we know we got to go a little bit longer, so we want a little bit less angle, and we'll go 22 and a half. Click apply, and it, I've done this before, this earlier, so it's it's perfect. Um, but you can even tweak this if you wanted it say an inch longer. You could go one. Hit it in there. It's going to ask you custom fitting. You just click yes. And click apply, and then you get a little bit longer, and you have to you have to tweak it. Um, so let's go back to 2250 because that was perfect. 
Click apply. And we're going to click OK and look at it from here. So now we're, we're not flat on top yet, but we've got the, we've got the length right. So now we're going to come in here and we'll go modify duct fitting. We'll drag this out of the way. And we want to play with this in the Z. So we come over here and we'll just try a minus two. Click apply and voila that works but it doesn't always work you may have to tweak it just like you did the other side or with the I mean with the angle click OK and the way you can tell if it's flat if, if it ends up flat on top because it doesn't look like it um, is these break lines will, will disappear if you remember if you remember correctly we had break lines there it's showing the break lines and when we bring it back And the Z minus two. You can watch that and you'll see the brake lines disappear. And you can always double check it by just getting a distance. And you can see we're zero on the Z, so we're good. That one worked out pretty well. Um, a lot of times, I mean, if you've got an offset over and an offset up, sometimes, I mean, you, you could spend... 20 30 minutes on these and in fact here's the quickest way i do it when i get frustrated so i just take a 3d polyline and draw it in and, and move on my way especially if i know this is not going to go into to navis and, and be uh coordinated through that if it's just a shop drawing and just come in here and go like that Boom, you're done. Looks like a 3D. I only forgot that little piece down there. And you can just go in here and change the layer. Match properties. And if you had duct running underneath this, you could always just change this to a block and then turn it into a uh, MV part and it would give you hidden lines. It won't give you hidden lines the way it's sitting because it's just lines, but um, that's probably the fastest way if you get frustrated. Um, another way you can do it is let's just pull this down over here. And copy this. So that you can get your tags, your, your elevation tags correct. Let's say that uh, you had to move this duck down two inches. Just I just move it down two inches, and uh, just leave it just leave it like that sometimes. But uh, I mean that's a kind of a sloppy way to do it. Those first two ways are the best way, and uh, hopefully AutoCAD does something about this because there's really no reason for it to be. Basically, all your your really good um, detailing software have little magic or smart fittings where you just click here click here and it draws it in and, and hopefully that uh, um, East Coast CAD will uh, I, I know they're working on it I don't know how well they're going to do with it because it seems like it's pretty difficult I've, I've actually talked to a couple programmers and asked them if they could do it and they gave up so anyways that's how to do transitions